Hello, welcome back. Today I'm doing DNA pairing on FreeCodeCamp and this is part of the intermediate algorithm scripting uh, section. So basically we here we've got a function um, and it's called the DNA strand is missing the pairing element. Um, so take each character, get its pair and return the results as a 2D array. Uh, base pairs, if you don't know, are A, T and C, G. Um, we want to match the missing elements to the provided character and return the provided character as the first element in each array. So for example, if we take in GCG, um, which is just a string, we actually want to return an array. And then within there, we've got um, other arrays, or uh, I guess an, an array for each character. And we just want to map um, the original character and then the matching pair to that. So because it's G, it should be C. And then because it's C, it should be G, and then G to C again. Um, if we had, let's say, A here, we would then have it as A and T. Um, so the character and its pair are paired up in an array, and all the arrays are grouped into one encapsulating array. So basically just um, nested arrays. So there's arrays with inside a larger array here. Um, we've got some examples, and we've obviously started off here. So I'm just going to console.log wrap around our function as always. And we can see we're just outputting the string at the moment. So um, what I'm going to do is, uh, well, actually, I'll take off that whole thing and start fresh. But um, what I want to do is, um, firstly, we'll just let sort of paired array. And we just want to create that new wrapper array that we're going to push to. Um, and this is what we are returning. Uh, return paired array. So this is our, our main array, as you can see here, around the outside of, of everything. And then what we're going to do is push individual arrays. Um, and obviously we need a, I guess, a method or a, I'm going to have a separate function to input in the individual character, um, check what it should be paired with, and then push both of those um, as one array. And then it will go through and do the next one and then the, the final one, depending on how many elements that you place in here. So obviously to do that, um, we want to go through all of the individual characters. So I'm gonna do a for of loop. Um, I think that would work as for of. So we'll just, um, was it let, um, let's see, character of str. And if I console.log character, we should be able to see the individual letters. Um, so actually, I'll put letters. Oops, letter. And here, letter. Oops. There we go. Cool. So we can see we've got the individual letters. And what we want to do at this point is would be paired array dot push, and we want to push in. And um, you can see here I'm creating an array so that we've got. Uh, one array here for each of the um, the letters because we're looping through three times and we want to push in the letter and then there's the second um, I guess a value of that array um, would then be the paired element so how to do that um, just between the paired array that we've created and our for loop I'm going to create a new function uh, you can create it as an arrow function or just like this if you want but um, pair check. Uh, I'll just call it like this pair check and we want to take in the letter and we want to return basically um, the matching element. So we can just do this. So if letter triple equals uh, A, we want to return T, right? Because these are the, the, the pairs. Um, similarly, and then else, I'm going to do a number of different if statements here. Um, you could use a, a switch statement, I guess. Um, it's probably best for this because there's going to be a few of these, but I guess the converse one would then be if it's T, return A. And I'm just going to copy and paste this two more times because we need to carry out, um, so was it C to G and then G to C as well um, for the other pairing options like so. But as we can see here, if I um, then call, let's just see pair check, um, pass in the, the letter, don't keep letter. Um, we can see that we're getting the, the paired element here. So I'll just take out the log and here we go. We can see we've got our uh, nested array with the individual elements at the first position, which is G, C, G. 
and then their corresponding um, sort of DNA pair match. So if I just do ACG, we should see TGC. So AT, CG, GC. Um, and so I was saying the, the second element um, for each of them would be their corresponding match. So I believe if I hit enter, that should run through the tests. And there we go, we're all passed. Um, so yeah, as I said, this is, um, I guess, quite a simple solution um, to this one. It took me a while to just work out, so, you know, what they want here. Um, but yeah, using the helper function was certainly probably the easiest way. Um, and as I said, you could maybe change this to a switch statement, but just a few if else's um, seem to work as well as a um, sort of a helper function um, here. Um, so yeah, that's my solution to DNA pairing. Let me know if you have any questions or even have a, a better solution than what I could come up with. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.